Today we're going to take a look at the author, Francis Richard Stockton, who wrote the short story, The Lady or the Tiger. Francis Richard Stockton wrote under the pen name Frank R. Stockton. He also used Paul Fort and John Lewis as pseudonyms based off his siblings' names. Stockton was born on April 4, 1834, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He was a descendant of American pioneers, one of whom, Richard Stockton, signed the Declaration of Independence. Although Stockton lived during the Civil War, he was not active in it because he was born with one leg shorter than the other. His family was torn by loyalties during the war. He supported the South and its succession, while his father was an abolitionist. Stockton died on April 20, 1902, in Washington, D.C. In the early 1850s, he experienced his first success as a writer when he won the top entry for the Boys and Girls Journal while he attended Central High School in Philadelphia. He graduated in 1852. He wanted to become a writer, but his father wanted him to have a more practical trade, so Stockton apprenticed to be a wood engraver. During his apprenticeship, he was published in two magazines, The American Courier and The Southern Library Magazine, as well as two newspapers, The Philadelphia Press and The Philadelphia Morning Post. In the summer of 1855, Stockton published his first story, The Slight Mistake, in the Philadelphia American Courier. In 1860, he established his office for wood engraving, and he married Mary Ann Edwards Tuttle. His wife was a former literature teacher who collaborated with him on some of his nonfiction books. In 1867, Stockton gained acclaim when he published Tingaling, a fairy tale about a giant and a dwarf in the Riverside Magazine for young people. The story was later published as a book. In 1870, he became the assistant editor and chief contributor for the children's section of Hearth and Home. In 1872, he became the editor of Scribner's Monthly. And in 1873, Stockton became the assistant editor and contributor for the St. Nicholas, a prestigious children's magazine. In 1874, he published his first novel, What Might Have Been Expected. In addition to his first novel, he also wrote other novels, including Mrs. Cliff's Yacht, The Tale of Negative Gravity, and the adventures of Captain Horn. In 1878, Stockton was forced to leave his position because of failing eyesight. He was forced to dictate his stories for the rest of his life. In 1879, Stockton gained his first major success with publication of Rudder Grange, a collection of stories about a married couple and their servant. In 1882, he published his most famous short story, The Lady or the Tiger, in Century Magazine. Many scholars and great writers have debated the ambiguity of its ending. It has been adapted into both a play and a film. In 1887, after the publication of The Bee Ohm and Other Fanciful Stories, Frankton became established as one of the greatest humorists and children's authors of his time. He was honored with the Lewis Carroll Shelf Award for his fairy tale, The Griffin and the Minor Canon, and The Storyteller's Pack, a Frank R. Stockton reader. Stockton claimed that his stories and novels are without hidden philosophic meaning or deep critical implications. His only goal was to be a successful entertainer. He also refused to moralize his stories, claiming his readers should be able to develop a moral for themselves. Finally, Stockton believed that the domestic hearth was the center of society, and he extolled everyday virtues such as love, 
marriage, and family in his writing. In regards to the ending of The Lady or the Tiger, Robert Browning, one of the most famous English poets of the Victorian age, said, he had no hesitation in supposing that such a princess under such circumstances would direct her lover to the tiger store.